Hey, Joel and Selma, how are you? We're good. Good, good to good. see you. Wonderful to speak to you this morning uh, or this afternoon where you are. Um, I really enjoyed the film. First up, loved it. I can still remember the original 11 years ago. I actually ran a cinema at the time, so I was in the crazy, basically, when, that, when, it, when the first <laughs> one came out. Um, congrats on the Golden Globe nomination as well. Um, oh, thank you. It's very exciting. So, Selma, it's been 11 years since we last saw Kitty Softpaws on the big screen. So how much convincing by Joel to bring the character back? Zero. Zero. Because <laughs> Antonio and I love these characters. Such a good character. You know, let me tell you, not only we did the movie together and we were in the same studio together, we did 750 interviews only internationally actually we got a, like a like an award thing like the most yes ever. the most <laughs> ever so we are very attached to the characters and in the we're very good friends so i can tell you in this decade uh there's been many moments in our lives where we become in our real life kitty and 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 puss in boots and uh, bigger, just like them. And we just feel like we're in the character because we love it so much. So we were hoping for these, waiting for these, kind of when, just when we kind of gave up. <laughs> uh, but thank God that these cats don't get any wrinkles. It, it just <laughs> came. But the surprise was Joel. <laughs> yeah. Because I felt like uh, we really explored the character a lot deeper and I fell deeper in love with her. For sure. And um, Joel, obviously coming onto the franchise and taking over this, was it a little bit daunting at all? Because it's such <laughs> a loved franchise, like the Shrek films oh, as well. Yeah, absolutely. Right. You feel the the weight of, of expectations. It's been so long. Um, but I, what, what kind of uh, lifts that weight is having an amazing cast because like, like someone was saying, it was awesome right from the beginning when we started recording the, the script I just found like, oh, wow, Selma and Antonio know the characters so much better than me. And so much of like you would improvise and come up with things on the spot. And there, there's so much, I think, um, charm between all the characters that the cast found. So it was it was um, it was an honor, basically, being able to continue the next chapter. But can I say something? yeah. Go for it. The thing is that is the first film that comes out for a decade from from the Shrek universe, and I understand what you're saying. Those are big shoes to to fill in. I am so in awe of what he did because he still did the same thing that happened when that when Shrek came out. It's very innovative visually. His his vision of it. After there's so much animation and he still managed to do something that stands aside and that it's meaningful at the same time as action, comedy, and just visually a new proposition. There was, there was really a, like a snowball effect of the production designer, Nate Rag was like spearheading this idea of the movie looking like a, a fairy tale painting. And then everybody just kept bringing so much to the project that it, it just, it seriously evolved into a really special experience making, but also I think on the screen, this really special movie about life. Yeah. Well, the animation looked great and I did walk out of the cinema very happy. So you definitely ticked all the boxes and, and more. <laughs> um, I'm going to get the wrap in a sec, but Selma, I just want to jump off Puss for one second. Over your career, you've played multiple different roles. Is there a role you've done in the past that you'd love to revisit? like a character that you had so much fun working on that you'd love to just do again? Besides Puss and Boots, of course. Um, I think there's a couple, you know, sometimes, sometimes I get depressed when the movie's over because you don't get to be that person again, ever. Yeah. And uh, the song, because it was just so much fun working with your peers and some because just the 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 character haunts you like one of them was I don't know if you saw this 
movie, a small movie called Beatriz, Beatriz at Dinner. Yep, saying that. You're great. And I, oh, I would love to play that character again. And I would love to, because the ending is kind of ambiguous. Yeah. I would love to change, to have <laughs> the ending, you know, realize that it was a surprise. It was something different or something. I really love that character. I love Frida. Um, I do love Sonia from a Hitman's <laughs> Wife's Bodyguard because I love to play with those two. It's just so much <laughs> She's fun. She's great. Yeah. yeah, actually, there's a lot of characters I'd like to play. Thank you for the question. <laughs> well, mine, mine would be um, Serendipity from Dogma. I would like to see oh, you with yes. Kevin Smith again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you very much, guys. The film's great. As I said, congrats on the Golden Globe, and I hope the film goes really well when it comes out, and I'm sure it will. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.